All right, let's look at the good and bad about using citrus strip. As you can see, uh, citrus strip, when used properly, uses works pretty good uh, to remove even some of the original paint, but it, it works best if you just use it to remove particular products that are on your car. So if you're trying to get um, some paint off like if you can try it and you find out that it doesn't work it might not work well with clear coats or paints that are put on with clear coats so your later model cars um, it might not work very well but um, for the older cars it actually works pretty well it's it's actually um, like if you're taking off old synthetic enamel uh, from uh, old paint jobs like at Mako or one day paint and body that have failed and you want to get those off of there and get it back down to the original paint and sand it from there and repaint the car um, it actually can work pretty well for that um, the advantages are number one is it does not you know I, I don't have gloves on I don't know if I'm supposed to but it doesn't bother me at all and uh, I've done that without gloves it's up to you on that of course you probably would probably wear them but um, and one of the problems is no matter how much you cover yourself up with most strippers, um, you get it on your skin sometime or another, and it's not a pleasant thing. It's no big deal. You usually can wash it off or whatever, but it, it burns a bit, you know, somewhere. Even if you're wearing gloves, usually somehow it breaks through them or you get holes in your gloves or whatever. And with a regular stripper, you know, sometimes that happens. One of the advantages of it, too, is that it does not evaporate. So, um... It does not evaporate very quickly. It actually takes a long time to dry. And uh, it, so you, if you put plastic over it, you can leave it overnight. And it actually won't. It'll still be wet and pliable. We're going to talk about some of the disadvantages in a little bit. Um, and you can still remove that paint. And then take it from there, sanding it to a good finish for ready for a primer. If you want to go completely to bare metal, uh, very easily after you've done with that stripper, you can use one of these stripping wheels um, for myself or use a wire brush on a polisher. If you use the woven style like this style of brush, um, it will take it to bare metal very quickly after you use the stripper. Uh, what I'm doing on mine is I'm actually sanding it with... Um, with this machine, this is from Harbor Freight Tools. This is a polisher sander. It's a DA, so it's orbital. It doesn't just spin. And uh, it removes it. Yeah, you know, it, it, you can feather sand with this thing. It's very aggressive. It sands very fast, a lot faster than most air sanders do. And it's maybe not quite as noisy. That's a good piece of advice to use. One of these, if you don't have one, why don't we pick one up? Now the disadvantages of it, it doesn't react very quickly. So a lot of times you put the other strippers on within about a minute or two, the react and this stuff is like an hour, you know, but again, it doesn't get dry. Um, the other thing that you have to do is typically to get the paint off, you might have to use like a scraper like this where um, use a little razor blade they have these at harbor freight tools these are very cool to remove the rest of the paint it still doesn't take very long uh, so if you weigh it out kind of the toxicity of the other products um sometimes might you know be kind of a pain i found it to take me about the same amount of time to strip on an entire car with this product as it does with the other products for me about the same um, as far as my time the time it actually takes for the product to react and that's different it takes a lot longer so with this product you definitely want to coat it on as thick as you can and put plastic on it and I'm gonna show you how that I coat it on a couple different ways so one of the ways to coat it on really thick is to take your bucket you know what I did is I just cut this open I used, I poured the product on the roof areas first. Then when I got down to the bottom of this, I cut one of these in half. And I just take it and put it up against the metal like this and scoop it out. 
and then put it on there really, really thick. The key to this stuff is to get it on any stripper is actually to get it on as thick as you can. So cross brush it, put it on, cross brush it a couple times, and just kind of lightly tip it with the brush for using the brush. Another thing you can do with this product is use a Bondo spreader. So generally when I pour it on the roof, I just take a Bondo spreader and spread it out, thin it out with that. And on the flat surfaces, on the vertical surfaces like this one, I just scoop it out with the brush and just kind of put it on, let it kind of run down a little bit. And then just start cross brushing it different directions. So I'll go this way and this way to kind of get it to spread on evenly. And this is just a chip brush, so it's kind of cool. It doesn't, and then when I put my plastic on, I'll rub my hands over the plastic and kind of even it out with that. So that's one of the ways to do it. It works really good for old synthetic enamels, maybe an old acrylic enamel it might work okay on. Um, but if you run into really hard finishes, like if you're using, if you're trying to strip clear coat paint or something like that, you're probably going to have a lot of problems. It's probably not going to work very well. Um, maybe if it's really compromised, you could try it, try a section of it and see if it's going to work for you. Like any product, you know, what I always say to people, try a good sample area, put it on, throw the plastic on there. And see if it's going to work for it. Um, you, you just don't know to try it on the finish you're trying it on. And that's always the best way to do a sample area first. Don't try and do the whole car and go, oh, that didn't work very good. Try a sample area, find out if it works good, and then go from there so you don't waste all your time and waste all your money. Get a quart of it or something like that. Try an area of the car. It's not going to work on every car. It worked really well on this car. I found on this product it's a little bit more difficult to get off the to rinse it off to get to neutralize it. Um, so I use one of these miniature little uh, pressure washers, a little electric pressure washer, and wash it down with that really slowly after I'm done to neutralize it. Because if it's still on there, you're not going to like how it sticks to your sandpaper and makes a mess. You know, it's not like the other stuff where you're worried about it flinging onto your body and making you burn or something but you know it's still it's still toxic you know you could as far as you know if you had a car around it when you're sanding or something like that stuff got flinged off you know you probably wouldn't be very happy with you know, the results from that some of the stuff I found it worked really well on where the other stripper didn't do work very well was on filler um, this stuff when it hits filler it just seems to I don't know it just kind of dissolves it it's kind of weird when you let it sit on it for a while come back the, the filler just comes right off where um, when I put it on put the regular stripper on it it just takes off of like a little thick thin layer of the filler this stuff will the whole filler will just be just dissolved and I can usually just take it right off from there with a the razor blade um, it is a little bit more effort as far as scraping the paint off you know the advantage of the other is you don't need to do that really as much but you know when you like I said when you weigh out the toxicity and the other things it's really about the same as far as most things go for the paint that I'm doing right now which is a synthetic enamel it's like an old Mako or one day paint job and uh, the underneath that's original paint uh, in this pic and this stuff does soften the original paint a little bit but it doesn't want to just wrinkle it and take it right off. Um, it will take off any previous, you know, under any other paint jobs. So if you look here, there's some body work here they did. I don't know what kind of filler that is. It's not regular Bondo. It didn't want to touch this that well, but um, most of the regular fillers, it's just like if it's Bondo or something else, most polyesters, it takes it right off. But uh, the primers it didn't really want to take off but they sand really easily um, so it's actually working out pretty well for this project so anyway if you want to try it you know you can give it a shot and you know those are the pieces of advice I can tell you put it on really really thick the key is is getting it on there really thick and the cool thing about that is like if I put on the other stripper that thick right now while I'm making this video 
um, that would already be dry that area where I've just put it on and it's still sopping wet right now you know it's not it's not gonna dry you know it'll take all day in the heat for that to dry if I left it outside um, and it may not even dry then but if I put plastic over it it, it will work um, the thing that I found too is if you take your plastic that's got the stripper on it you can take that same plastic and reuse it a few times and just leave all the the paint like right here or what I've got right here you can leave all that paint on there but it's just gotten to be so much I'm not going to use that one again but I've used that piece of plastic for the same for two or three areas on the car and the the stripper that's on it on the plastic even though it's got all the paint in it and everything else is still um, active and will still remove more material so it's kind of cool versus um, if I did that with the other strippers it wouldn't be wet still it would dry out and then it's useless where this stuff can keep going and going and going so it's kind of cool it, it's got some benefits but it also has some downside and uh, you know if it works out for what you're trying to do and you don't really don't want to get that stuff on your hands and you want to strip something I want to give it a shot and see all right I'll talk to you in the next video please like share and subscribe hopefully this helps you figure things out